everybody can be a target of bullying. Um, doesn't matter who you are, your age, race, gender, anything like that. Anybody can be a target. What do you feel about bullying? Um, I feel like it's childish. I think it's ignorant. I think people only bully people that's not, they know not going to do nothing bad. Mm. Sounds great to me. I think bullying is creating an atmosphere of such uncomfortableness for somebody that it creates mental or physical anguish. It can cause uh, lots of uh, mental stress. It can be physical. It can be uh, verbal. Kind of gesture that's uncomfortable for the opposite person. I think bullying is like when you demean somebody for what they stand for, what they believe in. Like most of the time, it's like racism, like their sexual orientation. You know, you see it every day. Um, as far as friends joking on each other, if, you know, if, if it's not serious bullying, as far as pushing one another or causing serious harm, then uh, uh, comical bullying. Yes, I see that every day. I think everybody, including myself, I think everybody has always been a part of the system somewhere along the line. The problem is uh, children are afraid to speak up about bullying. I was bullied as well. You know, um, girls were beating me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could laugh at that now, you know what I'm saying? Because all the tears, they dried out, you know what I'm saying, during grade. Now that I look back and I, I think about what it, exactly it is when you have uh, someone that maybe one person's not talking to you, so she wants everyone else not to talk to you, yeah, I experienced that in middle school. I think everybody has been bullied at different levels, either to some extent, uh, including myself. And I was strong enough to ignore it and to move on. And sometimes you'll find that they'll leave you alone. And other times, you know, you'll find that they won't. So I, I stood up to it, and so it ceased. And I never, I can say this, I never shared it with my parents. I dealt with it. I didn't fight or anything like that but I, I just stood up to it, and then it stopped. It has gone on for so many years, many, many years, even when I was in school, bullying occurred and prior to that, and I think that it has continued to occur because students are afraid to speak up. What it is is just people just got getting more connected, got more communication with people, you know. Um... Yes, in fact, we have on campus something called the Step Up Program, uh, which I just learned about yesterday, by the way, which is part of Student Affairs Program at the Counseling Center. We also have classes such as a health concepts class where we talk about bullying and, and bullying prevention and so on and so forth. We also have a lot of organizations on campus that promote self-esteem, the fraternities, the sororities, uh, you know, all the different types of other organizations, the, the athletic teams. Uh, all of those groups all help to prevent bullying by bringing together people in a positive way and in, or in, in a competitive way. Uh, so that uh, you know, so that we can hopefully stop some of the negative stuff of bullying that might occur anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we are able to recognize more so than we have in the past what bullying is, and for that, I think we really should be uh, credited with doing so. You have to solve it. And we, you know, we chill. It's, it's all about just us communicating and just getting along with each other. And like, you gotta, you gotta say hello to a stranger. If you don't, then you're not doing your job as a human.